I think he'll be more comfortable at 140. Uh, he's had problems making weight in the past, so uh, any any uh, jump in weight it probably will help him, if anything. I, I just don't like that he just doesn't make things clear. You know, if he says see you in December, make things a little bit clear. Ryan, let's get it on. I mean, I, I feel like I'm very transparent in the way I talk. I, I call him out, not because I'm thirsty. I call him out because that's generally what I want to do. If that fight for some reason, if that fight for some reason doesn't happen, which I don't see that happening, but if it doesn't happen, then I want to fight Teofimo Lopez at 140. Last night, Ryan Garcia looked good. He stops Javier Fortuna in six rounds. After that, he calls out Javante Davis. Javante Davis responds with a tweet saying, I see y'all at the end of the year. A cryptic tweet at that. Nobody knows what that means. Is he going to fight Ryan Garcia in December? Or is he setting up another fight with Isaac Cruz or somebody else? We all want to see Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia go at it in a square circle. But more than likely, this fight will not be made because of politics. The PBC, the Golden Boy, they were together at once. They broke up. It's been bad blood ever since. Ryan Garcia has no doubt in his mind. He's very optimistic that this fight can be made. I'm, on the other hand, like other boxing fans, don't see it happening. I hope it does happen. I hope I'm wrong. But Tifimo is a hell of a backup. Tifimo and Ryan Garcia is also a big fight if Tifimo gets past his fight in August. I'm more optimistic, way more optimistic, that they could pull off the Tiafimo Lopez and Ryan Garcia fight, especially if Tiafimo knocks the guy out or he's impressive in his next fight. I think even Tiafimo's promoter, Bob Arum, loves that fight because Bob Arum sees the money. I mean, Mayweather has said it so many times when he talked about Devin Haney fighting Shakur Stevenson. They're on the same side, they should fight. We're gonna keep our fights in-house meaning we're not going to get the fight that we want to see which is an explosive fight at 140 ryan garcia against javante davis you can have any opinion you want about ryan garcia i don't care one way or another one thing he wants to do is make big fights manny pacquiao javante davis and if he can't get that he'll fight tiafimo lopez all are explosive exciting fights and he has a fan base behind him this dude's making two or three million dollars fighting javier fortuna could you imagine what ryan garcia and tank davis would make if they fight each other with no titles on the line crazy right anyway what fight is more likely to happen tiafimo against ryan garcia or tank davis versus ryan garcia leave your thoughts and comments below jbz i'm gone